Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something completely different that I want to share with you. Something I just learned how to make and I'm really excited. And it went viral on Instagram and TikTok. So your girl is now out here in these streets making custom wood signs like the door hangers really really nice so i was just testing it out and i made this one for me so this one was my learning curve this one was you know me playing around trying to see what works best but this is the one that went viral mostly everyone loved it but some people was like that bow looks like christmas it looks da 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 so i was like all right let me step my game up because learning how to make the bowls was always the one thing that kept me from making these gorgeous wood signs. So I watched so many different tutorials on TikTok and I was like, I gotta master this bow. I love the way bowls look, but I just never knew how to make them, right? So it just always kept me from doing it. So for me, the first time doing it, I came across this bouquet bow that I've seen some people doing. So that's what I did here. And of course, it's just one color. Most of the time you see them, you see them with like more than one color ribbon, right? But it was just for me. So I said, let me just use the burlap. I did the bouquet bow. But some people was like, oh, it looks like Christmas or, you know, it's too big or whatever. But the most people liked it. Over 1 million views on Instagram and stuff alone, right? So I said, let me try to figure out how to do another bow. Just because, you know, not everyone might not like that bow. So then your girl went and I learned how to make a second bow. And this one, um, I did a lot. You'll see, I'm going to show you the videos of how I changed certain things. So this is the second video. This one's for my very first customer because they trusted me. They loved it. So now I'm getting orders. So now your girl is out here making custom wood signs. So I'm going to show you the exact reels and videos that I posted on Instagram and TikTok, just in case if you're not following me there, um, step-by-step -step tutorials. Funny thing is when I made the first one, I had a nice, you know, music behind it. So some people thought I was rapping in the first one. So the comments was going crazy because everybody thought I was out there spitting bars, right? They thought I was really rapping the whole tutorial. So they're both short videos, like less than two minutes long. So this is going to be a really quick video, a sped up tutorial. But if you guys want to see me do it, you know, step by step, slow down, I can do a live, you know, because it's really easy, right? But hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy this quick tutorial. But the first video, you'll see the very first one I did. And then you'll see the second video. You guys will be so surprised because as I was working on the second one, your girl was rapping. So, so stay tuned. Watch today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Katrina. If this is your very first time here, enjoy. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Katrina's Graceful Creations. So most of you guys know I'm from Brooklyn. I don't be rapping. I'm not no Nicki Minaj, but it's in me and it's in my blood, my family. My cousins used to be on the corner rapping, spitting rhymes. So, you know, it took me a minute because I had to get all the words to rhyme and to go along with what I was doing. So you're in for a pleasant surprise. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Enjoy today's video and enjoy my flow on how to make a DIY custom wood sign. So before I jump into the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into all the products used. Timer going off because my son's chicken tenders are ready. <laughs> now you can get these wood rounds from anywhere. This is an 18 inch one. This is the 18 inch one, but I'll show you some other variations of some other wood rounds that you can use as well. So I went and got some examples of the different wood rounds that you can use or wooden boards that you can use. So like I said, this is the 18 inch. This one already comes with like a little string attached. This one is from Michaels. From Michaels. So this one is the 15 inch and you can see the difference okay so much smaller so that way you'll know like how to price them accordingly of course the smaller ones you can charge you know less bigger ones you can charge more now this one is a flat one right but this is more of a wooden one you can get these from lowe's michaels home depot anywhere so this is the unfinished one these you do have to attach a ribbon or you know the string twine or anything behind it but this one is supposed to be um a 15 inch as well this one is 15 inches from Michaels, but this one is 13 inches and it's a lot bigger. So depending upon where you get them from, so as you can see, it's literally almost the exact same size as the 18 inch, almost the exact same size. All right. 
And then, now this one is the biggest one. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off, so it was like $10. This one, I believe, was the cheapest of all of them, other than the 15, um, other than the 15 inches. But this one just has a hook. This thing's so big, it's covering my whole face. So this one just has the hook. If you want to hang it, if someone wants to hang it, but you can also just, you know, staple in or attach a string or some jute or ribbon to it as well. So this is the biggest one. So now they do come like 20 inches and stuff or more. So again, you can get them from Lowe's, Home Depot, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Just look around, get your prices, and see which one are the best ones. So now I will say this one and the round one, I got the best prices on these because I bought like six and eight packs offline on Michael's. So I bought them online. Michaels rather than buying the single ones in the store you'll get a much better deal if you want to buy them in bulk all right so all the materials that I use I say it in the videos but just you know for slow down purposes of course I'm using my Cricut maker but you can use any desktop cutter you want to use adhesive vinyl adhesive vinyl permanent vinyl that can go indoor outdoor that can go on type um, that can go on type of the wood I'm using Mod Podge I'm using stain you can use i'm using a stain you can use any color stain um, most people have different variations you can offer your um, customers clients whatever color like this is a lighter one this is a lighter color versus this one is just a little darker stain so you get your stains or stains are so <laughs> um, and of course i'm using acrylic paint different acrylic paints for them I'm using different ribbons. You want to make sure you are using wired ribbons. You want to make sure you're using wired ribbons so that way you can manipulate them, fluff them, turn them um, in any direction that you want. You want to make sure you have a floral cutter, floral wire, or you can use just like um, twine or jute string, scissors, different things like that. And of course, you might want to use painter's tape or black electrical tape, whichever one works best for you. And if it's going outside, you do wanna spray paint it or seal it, or you, they, you can do it in the spray paint or the, the actual like stain paint, whatever it's called, so that way it can withstand the weather. Now I know a lot of people use like the poly acrylic, I believe that's what it's called, the one in the blue can, the one that's in the blue can, but when I went to Lowe's, cause it didn't say on the can, indoor, outdoor. So now I spoke to the guy at Lowe's and I was like, well, this is what everyone uses. He was like, no, no, this is better. So this is the sealer that I got. I got the indoor outdoor Hellman spar urethane. He said it's specifically for like wood um, and it's specifically for indoor and outdoor. It's much better than the other one. And it was a dollar cheaper. <laughs> okay, so this is what I use, but you guys can use whatever you want, all right? That's just what I use on mine. So now that I got, oh, and of course, and of course, you'll see in the video, the first one that I did, I was only using like the jute, the twine, and of course my glue gun, my hot glue gun. But some people in the comments was like, get a staple gun. Now I had seen that in a lot of the videos I watched, but I was like, my little stapler, that's not gonna use that. So I couldn't use a stapler the very first time, but your girl went and got a heavy duty stapler, a staple gun for the second one. So you need to have a staple gun if you're gonna be making these signs because it holds the floral, the bows in place, it's much better. They ain't going nowhere. So hot glue might not work, depending upon how thick or how heavy. Some told me that, you know, depending upon where you live, it's, if it's really, really hot, it fell off the bowl. So I went and got a staple gun. So that's everything that I used. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see my video. It's going to be in portrait mode because, of course, it was for social media. But do not, do not laugh at me when you get to my rap. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> So I needed some decor for my walls in my garage, my craft space, so I'm making a wooden sign for the very first time, believe it or not. I went and got the sign from Michaels, it was 50% off. I stained it with English chestnut and then I taped off the middle like I knew what I was doing because that's what I see everybody else doing. Painted it with black acrylic paint. Then I cut out my decals I made in my Cricut Design Space and using my Cricut Maker 3 and I'm using Starcraft Permanent Vinyl. I really like this vinyl over the Oracle 651. So I'm cutting out all my decals and I'm just 
using the adhesive tape to transfer it down on the black part. It says, welcome, it's time to craft and time to get the bag. So now these flowers, I didn't really like them because they didn't go all the way to the edge and I couldn't manipulate them, but I made it work. Added on some little butterflies because I love butterflies and I added on um, some smaller ones just so it can go around. So I wanted to seal everything in and then give it a glossy finish. So I used Mod Podge because that's what I saw everybody else do it on TikTok. So I sealed it in with Mod Podge and then I let that dry. Now here comes the fun part. I watched so many tutorials uh, on how to make a bow. Believe it or not, I know how to do a lot of things, but bow making was not my thing. The first bow I attempted, I was like, nope, this is a hot mess. So then I decided to make a bouquet bow that I've been seeing people do. Now most times it's always like with different colors, but I just use one type of ribbon because it's just for me, it's going on my wall. So I did the burlap, I secured it with twine. Yeah, I know it's not a wedding, but whatever. So then I got some floral arrangements from Hobby Lobby that was on sale, cut them apart and tried to piece everything together. I secured this with the wire um, just to make sure that it can all stay together. And then I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this little burlap bow on here. I made sure I cut everything down so that way nothing hangs lower than the signs. I secured it all together with the twine. So now I'm fluffing it up, making sure it looks good. I'm liking how it's looking. And then I want to add a few more pieces of the red, but this thing was tight like a virgin. So I could hardly get anything in there. So just make sure you put everything in there beforehand. I tried to hot glue the whole thing to the sign. And of course it fell completely off. So then I just had to take like the wire and I stuck it through the ribbon and tied it onto the string hook. Yeah, kind of smart. I did that. All right, so then I hot glued some of the burlap to the wood in the front, fluffed it all up, and that's how it came out. I surprised myself. Normally, I don't be doing stuff like this, but look at that, my very first wood sign for my wall. Let me know what y'all think. Trust me, I'm not making these for sale. This was just a one-time thing only, but I love the way it came out. Welcome, it's time to craft and get the bag. A few weeks ago, I made my first wood sign. It did so well, I thought I'd wrap this time. Of course I stained it, gives it a natural look, then apply my pie so the paint won't be shook. So I brushed it all over and I taped off my board. Blue acrylic paint, that's what I could afford. One to three coats, I should have used the roller. Then I hit it with the heat gun so this drying could be over. Peeled back the tape, that's what y'all be waiting for. Added a second line because my customer wanted more. Pulled out my Cricut Maker. I'm cutting my permanent vinyl. Adding borders and words. It's about to be final. This sign is for my cuz. Big Reg is what we call him. Wanted blue, gray, and white. So do your thing, make it tight. Simple, sleek, and modern. It says welcome to our home. When you hang this on your door, it just sets off the tone. So I took it outside. It's time to spray it down. Seal it in for the weather. Just don't let it hit the ground. Here comes the best part. It's time to make a bow. Two colors, ribbon wires lock in. Here we go. I literally just learned this, so don't be judging me. Cut my pieces, hot glue them, it's as simple as can be. I'm making a different bow than I did the last time. Some didn't like it, but it was mine, that's fine. Each time I'm getting better, just wait, you'll see. Talk now, try to play me, next thing you're booking me. So I got a staple gun, see I took y'all advice, staple floral to the board, ooh baby, this thing's nice. All right, I'm almost done, just one last fluff. Snip my ends, make it cute, who knew I could make all this stuff? Well, it's a wrap, here you go, another wood sign done. Who got next? Place your orders, I've only just begun. This rhyme took a long time, so like and comment below. I do all types of crafts, so please follow for more. Peace.